What's going on guys, Mr. Closter here. Welcome back to another Pokemon Go video. In today's video, I'll be talking about how to get unlimited Gengar candies and other ghost type candy. Basically, the Gengar, if you guys don't know what he is or what kind of Pokemon he is, he's the evolved version of the Ghastly and actually the Hunter. So basically, this is the Hunter and if you evolve him, he becomes into a Gengar. Now guys, how to do this is, at least as of this recording, because it's the Halloween weekend, you get double the candy of, I think, no, I think you get triple the candy of catching Ghastly's because, I'll show you guys an example. So, when I started out, let's see if I can actually find a Ghastly. Yeah, a lot of Ghastly's pop up, like, around pretty much every Pokestop, just pretty much anywhere. There's a lot of Ghastly's, there's a lot of Pokemon I actually caught that I haven't caught before. So, yeah, as you guys can see, Ghastly... And I think it gives me six candies every time I catch a Ghastly. I think that's a special thing because when the loading screen loads, uh, the Gengar is in like a cave. So I think that's a symbol. And also, a new Pokemon I got today was the Cubone. But we also got an evolved version of the Cubone. Um, I think that's how you pronounce it. I'm sorry guys if it's totally off. But we did catch... We caught another 471. But I thought we caught a higher Pokemon than that. Uh, maybe that is the one we caught, but um, yeah, we do have a new uh, Cubone Pokemon as well. You also get, I believe, six candies from that too, and the Meowth. The Meowth is also a Pokemon that spawns pretty often inside the game as of this weekend, so you also get six candy now. It's amazing how many how many candies I'm getting for catching every single one of these Pokemon. So I'm just going to trade a couple Ghastlies because I really want a Gengar, and I did see a Gengar earlier on the map, but... These guys know Gengars are really, really, really rare to get and very difficult. So I did actually catch a Hunter though, which I was actually pretty lucky. But it was pretty much the same, um, the same CP as my other one. I mean, very, very close. We also got the Ponyata too, or Ponyetta. I don't know how you pronounce this type of Pokemon, but I've seen this Pokemon uh, that players have, and I don't know if I actually got this type of Pokemon from an egg. Or I actually caught it. I think I got it from an egg because I don't remember catching this type of Pokemon. But um, you guys can tell me in the comment section also about this type of Pokemon. If the 836 CP is really good to evolve. Um, it looks pretty good. I mean 836 CP is pretty good. So I'm going to guess it's going to be at least 1200, 1300 CP. Whatever the next evolved version is. So I don't know if we're going to be catching any of those. But we did get 21 candies from that and yeah so the most common pokemon that's spawning right now is the ghastly the hunter or if you're rare and if you're really really lucky and actually catch a rare uh gengar he also spawns too so we pretty much have the same type of cp i mean 747 to 749 so if you guys still play pokemon go uh, i know a lot of players do and a lot of my subs do make sure you guys go out this weekend and definitely play as much as possible because this update is awesome. I mean, you get a lot of candies, and when you transfer Pokemon, you get, I believe, two candies as well. So this is insane. Um, definitely do it. Uh, what else? Uh, let's see. I think we should maybe transfer the shelter. Do, 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 do. Yeah, because we do have a cloister. So let's transfer. As you guys can see, we got two candies for that. Uh, do I have any more Ghastlies? No, nope. but I will. Tr uh, I will trade uh, low Cubone or Cubone as well for that. Two candies, there we go. So, yeah, Dratini is still my uh, buddy Pokemon just because I want to get candies more often and I do want to evolve that. But um, you guys also can tell me in the comment section below um, if the 749 Hunter is good to evolve. I'm sure it's going to be over a 1,000, maybe a 1,100 CP. But this is the highest Pokemon I've ever seen and uh, you know that I got and really in the game and the 747 as well but the statistics are not as good so i need 25 more candy and every time you catch one i believe it's six candy because there's no way in the world if it's two i'm getting this many candy so i've been catching ghastlies all over and it's really fun playing pokemon go right go right now because of this update so uh, yeah you guys can tell me in the comment section below if you guys are playing pokemon go or not but i will transfer this Hunter because I do not need a lower one and pretty much worse stats but than my higher one. So anyway, I really hope you guys did enjoy the video. And before we go, there we go, guys. We got a 733 Moravok. This Pokemon took about, I don't know, 18 balls, 19, I don't know, something like that. It took a long time to catch the type of Pokemon, but we got a 733, so I'll take that. Um, I've seen this Pokemon before. 
Um, so, you know, having new Pokemon in the Pokemon deck is pretty good. And also, hold on, I want to check something with you guys. So if we go to Pokédex, it says that I have a type of Pokemon. Let's see, hold on a second. Maybe I'm actually off, but if we go down... I was seeing an uh, I was seeing a Pokemon earlier that I thought I actually caught, but I don't think I did. Nope, doesn't look like it. Um, let's see. Nope, 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 nope. I did see this Pokemon, or I've seen him. I didn't even know I seen this Executor. So anyway, hopefully you guys did enjoy the video. If you guys did, make sure you guys smash the like button. That would be awesome. Get out and play some Pokemon Go. Catch some awesome Ghastlies, Hunters, or even if you're lucky enough, Gengars. And as always, I'll see you all on the next video.